So in this video, we're going to look at this problem. On a straight road, a car travels with constant acceleration, a meters per second per second. Its speed when it passes a road sign is u meters per second. The car travels 16 meters in the two seconds after passing the sign, and six seconds after passing the sign it has a speed of 25 meters per second. What distance does the car travel in the six seconds after passing the sign? OK, so. There's a lot of information here, so let's see if we can break this down into a SUVAT problem. Okay, so the first bit of information we're told is that the car travels 16 metres in the first two seconds. We know that the initial speed, uh, initial velocity is u, and the acceleration is a. Okay, so that's the information that we have there. Okay, now um, we don't know u, we don't know a. Okay, and that's a bit of a problem. Um, now, the other bit of information, okay, we need to look at separately. Okay, because we're told that in six seconds after passing the sign, the final velocity is 25 meters per second. But we don't know u and we don't know a. We don't know s either, okay? So this is the situation that we have, okay? These are, this is where we're going to need to try and figure out some simultaneous equations uh, with u and a, preferably, in order to figure out uh, those bits of information to then answer the final question. Okay, so equations that have both u and a involved, okay, um, would be like number one, for example, okay, uh, we could use that for this part, bit of information here, so using that, then we can say, right, v equals u plus a t, so 25 is equal to u plus a times t, so 6a. So that gives me an equation with just u and a in it involved now, OK? Now, can I figure out a similar problem, a similar equation, using this information? Right, we want one that definitely doesn't have v in it, OK? Which is the middle one. So the s equals ut plus half a t squared. OK, so we've got 16 is equal to u times t, so 2u, plus a 1 half times a times t squared. So t squared is 4, so half that's 2, so it'd be 2a. So if I divide that equation through by 2, I've got 8 is equal to u plus a. So there is one equation, and there is a second equation. So I now have... Uh, two equations, two unknowns, to find the u and the a. Excellent. Right. So what I could do is I could, I, I could substitute these directly into my calculator. Okay, I could use elimination. 2 take away 1 knocks out the u's, work out the a. It's not too challenging to do that. I'm going to go straight to my calculator. So simultaneous equations. So we're going to have uh, 1, 1, and 8. I'm going to take the x as u, okay? And 1, 6, 25. OK, so the u I get from this is 4.6, and the a I get as 3.4. OK, so I now know the uh, initial velocity and the acceleration. OK, so then if I want to find s, because I want to find the distance the car travels in the six seconds after passing the sign. So I want to find s in this situation here. So I could really use any of them. I'm going to use number two. Okay. So s is equal to one half times u, 4.6, plus v, which is 25, times t, which is 6. So 0.5 times 4.6 plus 25, wrong mode, let's try that again, 0.5 times 4.6 plus 25, and then times that by 6, and we get 88.8 .8 metres.
Okay? And that is the answer I was looking for.